planes and direction in crystals. Many properties of materials depend on the packing of the atom. But properties like densities depend on the packing in three dimensions. However, other properties depend on the packing in a particular plane or along particular directions. For, exam for example, the stiffness of a perfect single crystal of a copper depends on which direction the modulus is measured. If single crystal copper is full in the 100, 110 direction, the stiffness is about 67 gigapascal. If it is full in 110 directions, the stiffness is about 130 gigapascal. The stiffness value change again when pulling direction is changed in 111 direction, which is about 191 gigapascal. The stiffness changing the way we pull on it. The packing of atom in a direction is called linear density. The packing of atoms on a plane is a planar density. Linear density. Look at this simple cubic unit cell. The length 110 direction is set to a or to set to R in term of atomic radius. There are two atomic ready along one one zero direction. The linear density is defined as L D length of atom in term of R divided by length of line. The length for the 110 direction in simple cubic unit cell is 0 0.71. In 110 direction in simple cubic has the highest linear density with the LD value is 1. A direction with a linear of 1.0 is called close back direction. All crystal structure have close back direction. We should be able to determine which direction are close back for simple cubic, face centered cubic and body centered cubic by looking at the height square model. Planar density Look again at this simple cubic unit. The area of 110 plane in terms of the lattice parameter is set to A square. And the area of 110 plane in terms of atomic radius is A equal to R. So 4 R square Two. Total area of atom that lie on the 110 plane is 4 atom. So the 110 plane is 4 atoms times 1 over 4 times pi r square equal to pi r square. The planar density is defined as PD equal area of atom on a plane divided by area of plane. So the PD for the 110 plane is 0 0.56. At this point, we have considered only individual directions and planes. Look at the structure of simple cubic unit cell. All the edges have the same linear density. 
even though they have different Miller indices. Similarly, all the faces of the unit cell have the same planar density even though there are planes with different Miller indices. Because this direction and planes have the same linear density and planar density and thus the same properties, we group them together and say they are same family. Things like Miller indices, linear density and planar density will later benefit you when you want to predict properties such as mechanical properties based on crystal structures.